The president appears to be on a collusion course with the law right now. His alleged lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, was back on CNN last night. And rudier than ever, he made a crazy appearance on Chris Cuomo's show. This one, if we didn't have this on video, it would almost be too much to believe. The amount of false reporting about this case is despicable. Mr. Mr. Mayor, it's false despicable. reporting is saying that nobody in the campaign had any contacts with Russia. False reporting is saying that there has been no suggestion of any kind of collusion between the campaign and any Russians. Because now you have Paul Manafort giving poll data I, I that winds said, up leading to this coincidence. Well, you just misstated my position. I never said there was no collusion between the campaign or between people in the campaign. Yes, you I have, have no idea if there, I have not. I said the you, President of the United States. There is not a single bit of evidence the President of the United States committed the only crime you could commit here, conspired with the Russians to hack the DNC. <laughs> wow. He, he really... Of course he never said it. Nobody in the Trump administration ever said any of the things they say all the time. But, <laughs> but there must be another Rudy Giuliani out there who's been going around saying there was no collusion between Russia and the campaign. Is it still the position of you and your client that there was no collusion with the Russians whatsoever on behalf of the Trump campaign? Correct. Correct. So he did say it. The surest sign of how deeply screwed up this administration is, is that Rudy Giuliani is still allowed to go on TV to speak on their behalf. <laughs> go on, Rudy. The president did not. He said nobody had any contact. Russian. Tons of Whatever people had contact. Nobody is. colluded. The guy running his campaign he didn't say was nobody. working on an issue he at the same time didn't. as the convention. He said he didn't. He didn't say nobody. How would you know that nobody in your campaign... He actually did say that, R Rudy. He said well, I nobody, said and that. then he said, as far as I know. he said that, he said it in a... Well, as far as he knows, that's true. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani is like a choose-your-own-adventure. It just changes. <laughs> but the truth is, it doesn't matter what Rudy Giuliani says. He's not the one being investigated yet. Uh, but what matters is, did the president say there was no collusion between the Russians and his campaign? There was no collusion between the Trump campaign and the uh, Russian people. Yeah. At some point, Rudy is going to have to deny that Trump is even the president. But the important thing <laughs> in Giuliani's mind is that Robert Mueller put this thing to rest. He puts out the report, and then we get and we see what it has. Well, let's, I've, let's always get seen now. This, I've always seen this as a false argument, the idea of he's not showing us what he has. Well, let's it's do not it. over. Well, let's do it. But he's got to finish. It's over enough. We've answered all his questions on over enough? It's a, How much longer are you going to let he him do He just this? put out that your campaign chairman was playing with the Russians. But we don't... That, that isn't what he's... In, we, we don't need a special counsel to investigate a campaign chair. Oh, boy. Poor Rudy. Someday he's going to be in a mental facility telling the nurses that he used to be the mayor of New York, and they'll be like, uh-huh. <laughs> so, in the meantime... While that's going on there, we have new details about Trump's former lawyer slash friend, Michael Cohen. According to the Wall Street Journal and according to Cohen himself, in the lead-up to Trump's run for president, he, Cohen hired a company to rig online polls in his favor. You know these polls that you go on and click which thing you want? But Cohen says the president directed him to juice two polls, a CNBC poll of America's top business leaders and a Drudge Report poll of Republican candidates for president. Even those didn't work out. Not only did he not win either of the polls, I think he didn't even crack the top 100 in the CNBC one. The guy Cohen hired to do this, according to the journal, showed up at Trump Tower looking for $50,000 he was owed. And when he did, the report says Cohen gave him a Walmart bag with twelve dollars to $13,000 in cash and a boxing glove he claimed had been worn by a Brazilian MMA fighter as payment. It's like a scene out of the world's dumbest heist movie. It's, <laughs> it's Ocean's Chapter 11. And so the goon Cohen hired is an IT guy. He's got a company. His name is John Gauger. There's not much about him online, but this audition tape he made trying to get on Survivor in 2005 kind of tells you all you need to know. In my line of business, I deal with people from around the globe on a daily basis. This has given me the uncanny ability to make anybody like me. This will allow me to be the most loved Survivor contestant of all times, and maybe the most hated, too. <laughs> Only the best people, you know? Literally everyone around Trump is a character from a reality show. And that is not even the best part of the story. 
So Cohen also asked the guy while he was doing this to set up a Twitter account called Women for Cohen. This is a real account. It was created back in 2016. It's for, quote, women who love and support Michael Cohen. Strong, pit bull, sex symbol, <laughs> no nonsense. <laughs> Basically, Cohen asked this guy, help me rig the election. Well, hey, while you're at it, could you make people think girls like me, too? <laughs> because I love this, I clicked to see who was following this account. And some of the women for Cohen are named John, Ted, Elvis, Theodore, Kevin, and Sonny. We also have Steve, Douglas, Aaron, Casillas, Chris, and Bill. And these are some of the things they tweeted. Put that up on the screen. Snazzy looking and ready to MAGA. <laughs> Best looking men award goes to heart emoji. We love you guys. This has got to be the saddest thing I ever heard of in my whole life. <laughs> We're like a week away from finding out Michael Cohen had a burner phone he'd used to send dirty texts to himself. <laughs> I may have underestimated Michael Cohen. He might be a lot more hilarious than I ever imagined. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.